Hi there, my name is Robert Hock and I'm a Sitecore Technology MVP from the Netherlands. In today's video, I would like you, I would like to walk you through a, a video on how to use Sitecore SIF to auto install the Sitecore Publishing Service. And it will also auto install the publishing module. Uh, this is a project that I uh, created on GitHub. Uh, which allows you to install the publishing service all the way up to versions uh, Sitecore 9.1, all the way up to 10.01. And uh, it's, yeah, the, the, these are the supported versions and it's based upon some ideas and partial code of uh, Thomas Elblom, who demoed it uh, for the first time and his ideas inspired me. He demoed that at Suckon 2018 in Berlin. And I basically took, uh, took his code, uh, made it a little bit more flexible so that we can uh, uh, use it on different versions of, uh, of Sitecore. So this blog post, for example, on Sitecore Publishing Service, which I'm happy that people are actually blogging, but this is like a manual installation of creating sites, uh, adjusting host files, uh, adding application pools, etc., configuring connection strings. So the, uh, the PowerShell script that I created uh, does all that for you in an automated fashion. Uh, there is also a good video uh, from uh, Martin Miles. If you are a user of, uh, of his Sivan uh, uh, module, then he also has the uh, ability there to actually, um, to actually uh, set this up with uh, Sivan. With if you don't want to use Sivan, then there is always Sivanless. Uh, <laughs> or uh, syphilis, uh, that uh, you can actually use my module, which is just is some uh, Cif scripts and PowerShell uh, scripts that actually uh, allows you to install the publishing service and publishing module. So um, looking at the compatibility of the Sitecore publishing service, we can actually see that uh, each Sitecore version actually has its own module version here. So all the way up to uh, 10.0.0, the same module for uh, applies to 10.0.1, which is uh, update one. Oh, it's, it says it here. Uh, as the supported service, it says here, hey, you need at least uh, the Cycle Publishing Service uh, 4.1 and up. So uh, I basically ask a, a question on uh, Slack uh, whether it was possible to actually install this uh, 4.3.0 and it was confirmed by Sitecore that this is actually the version that you can use all the way up to uh, 9.1. So this is at the moment the latest greatest and I'm going to use that in the, in the, in the script. So what you need to do is if you're on dev.sitecore.net and uh, you want to go to your downloads and we don't really need the, the Sitecore Experience platform because I assume that you already set that up. I've got a instance up and running here with SC10 underscore zero underscore one. This is like a Sitecore 10 update one uh, local uh, local install. So you need to go here to uh, to the breadcrumb downloads and then search for publishing. So here, here you can actually see the publishing service uh, 430. So basically you can um, download this publishing service and, and I assume that you're on a 64-bit machine. So I'm, I'm actually uh, using this one. And if we go back and the publishing module, so here you can actually find all the, the, the versions. So if you're on a 9.3 install, you can definitely just download this module, download the zip file and also the public and service uh, uh, zip file. And then um, you can basically copy that over to a zip file, which I'm going to show you in this video. 
and um, yeah, let's just uh, let's just start with uh, cloning this uh, this repo repository, and let's clone this here. Okay, I'm going to install it at C projects. Cytro SIP auto install the publishing service. So I'm going to clone this. And now let's uh, let's have, have a look at, uh, I'm going to first, then let's open this project up first of all in uh, Visual Studio Code. So I actually opened up this uh, uh, PowerShell prompt and let's go into the projects folder and then site for SIP auto install publishing service. So if we look here, then let's just open up this uh, project in Visual Studio Code. So this will actually open up the project in, uh, in, in Visual Studio Code. And as you can see here, let's open this up we have two powershell uh, we have two powershell scripts one to install the publishing service and one to install the publishing module um, we also have a sidecore packages folder and we have to copy over the cycle publishing service and cycle publishing module zip files from dev.sidecore.net um, Siphon does an automated uh, installer uh, for time being um, and time constraints. I, I didn't do that, but uh, that, that's definitely uh, something uh, to be built in. Um, so let, let's first copy that over, uh, copy over those zip files. I already downloaded them uh, here and uh, in here, and this is my, uh, my Git repository. So in the Cycle Packages folder, I'm actually copying over the Cycle Publishing Service uh, and the various modules. Um, I just downloaded them all because sometimes I need the service in, uh, in 9.1 or 9.2 or 9.3. But uh, yeah, in today's video, we're going to focus on uh, Cycle 10 Update 1. So let's copy those packages over. And if we return to... Um, Visual Studio Code, we can actually see them uh, that we copy them uh, in here. So that's good. Um, then there is also this uh, parameters file. So if, if we look at if we look at the README file here, then um, yeah, it basically also describes uh, to copy over these uh, sidecar packages. Uh, the compatibility tables here, uh, you need to adjust the necessary uh, parameters. So open up the parameters uh, uh, PowerShell script and adjust the necessary web root, postfix and SQL server values if necessary. And then you can basically uh, install it with a, with a specific version. Um, no, do I need to save it? Uh, so basically you, if you want to install this on a on a different level, you can uh, just adjust this um, per version. It will take the right zip file from that uh, packages folder. Um, yeah, currently, because I set up uh, my, I always set up my instances with dev.local, so that's the the, uh, the postfix. Um, This will be appended to the to the publishing service uh, URL. Will, will run on uh, port five thousand. Uh, I won't install any certificate, so it's running over HTTP. And here it will install the service. And in order for your uh, uh, for your database, make sure to uh, to adjust these settings. Um, these are the defaults here, and yeah. That's basically it. So um, let's start the uh, publishing. Uh, start. Let's start installing the publishing uh, service uh, first. And 
As you can see here, you can prefix it with SC10, and that means that it will generate the site as uh, sc10.publishingservice.dev.local. Um, because I prefixed it with SC10 underscore zero underscore one, because th this site is update one, and I named it like this. I'm going to uh, slide. I'm going to slightly uh, uh, adjust these uh, settings here. So open up Visual Studio Code. Let's paste this in, and let's add underscore underscore zero one, and that's it. So let's press enter. It's going to uh, extract the, uh, the the zip file. It's going to update. Uh, update the databases here to a certain version um, and that's already it so the publishing service is installed so how do we actually test uh, whether or not the publishing service is up and running uh, you can actually uh, um, call this URL on port 5000 API publishing service operation status. So let's just, um, I already added it here, wasn't up and running. So if I now do a, um, do a refresh, we can actually see that it has a status of zero. So, hey, that's that's good. So th that means that the, uh, the publishing service is uh, up and running. Um, so now we want to install the module. So in order to actually, uh, we can all also do an uninstall if you want to do that. Just uh, append the uh, the uninstall uh, parameter to that script, and it will uninstall the publishing uh, service. So no need of uh, in the in the end um, of of disabling configs to to remove or revert the Psycho Publishing Service, you can just uh, call that uh, parameter um, that's here. So you can actually pass in the uninstall and it will actually uninstall it. So now it's time to install the Publishing Service module on top of this now. Since this is a version 10.001, let's install that. So I'm going to do it like this, and this will be my prefix, of course, for uh, to actually on, because my CM server is uh, up and running on uh, SC10 underscore zero underscore one. And let's install this uh, package, this module, and this is where the functionality of uh, Thomas Alplum uh, actually uh, kicks in. And that's uh, that it copies over this uh, this package installer uh, uh, web service, um, and through that it's actually um, um, <clears throat> it's actually installing the the items and and DLLs and the whole package. The thing that I added as well is basically adjusting a uh, publishing service URL route to actually because the, the module actually has configuration and it needs to point to a specific publishing uh, service uh, um, uh, URL. And let's have a look if... So here we are on this uh, CM server in the config. We have a module, publishing service module. And here in the configuration, of the Psycho Publishing Service, we can actually see that my script adjusted uh, this uh, Publishing Service URL root uh, parameter with the correct uh, URL. So now, in order to actually see if the uh, Publishing Service module is working, we can actually go to the to the to Psycho on the CM server. This one is still up and running. Let 
Saiko needs to warm up, obviously, because we uh, we adjust the, the config files. Let's log on to identity server. And on the dashboard, we should find this new uh, Earth icon, which is uh, for the publishing uh, service module. And there it is, as you can see. So you can actually enter this. Uh, and this is the new publishing dashboard that actually comes with that uh, publishing uh, service module. You can say, okay, rebuild the web databases when you publish everything. Uh, let's just let's just give it an initial uh, publish. If we close this, we can, we can actually see that we have one active job at the moment. And the job is done. It has been completed. Uh, and yeah, that's it. That's it basically. So go check out uh, check out my module, and uh, hopefully you think it's useful for uh, for your local uh, uh, setups if you don't use Docker. And uh, well, see you next time. Thanks for watching.